Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video I want to talk about an economy topic and this one is about protecting against inflation. Some of you guys might know about this, people actually do it in the real world. But as you guys might have noticed with my videos, I hit credit cap, you know, I was at 4 billion plus. I love to show that off in a lot of my videos but lately uh, most of my characters have been sitting at more like 2 billion credits and I show that in my videos and um, you might be wondering where the other 2 billion credits went. Well I actually spent them and the reason I spent them was because I was sitting on these credits and I was thinking to myself you know the trend that is obvious in both the real world and of course in this in-game economy is that credits and actual hard currency always goes down in value and the reason for that is simply inflation and I'll talk a little bit more about why it's such a big issue in the game but just in kind of the real world in general people like to protect against inflation so rather than sitting on hard cash they'll spend it on things like gold and silver which are goods that will always go up in value it's a very similar uh, concept to buying low, selling high. You know, you invest in items and you wait for those items to go up in value. But, you know, this isn't necessarily a way to make credits. It's a way of protecting your credits. And the way you can kind of uh, look at the impact of that is just look at 10 million credits like a year ago. Uh, 10 million credits a year ago was kind of a bigger deal, a much bigger deal than it is now. Uh, back in the day, if you had 10 million, you could buy a lot of stuff and do a lot with 10 million. But nowadays, 10 million credits, while it's still a lot and not many players have that, it's also just not the biggest deal. You won't get the nicest items. You won't get a lot of stuff. Also, just look at the trend in hyper crates. I mean, what, like, was it a year or two years ago? They were, like, going for 10 million credits each. Uh, then they went up to, like, 15, 20. Now they're sitting at 40 million credits. And I only imagine hyper crates just keep going up higher and higher in price. Uh, it all depends on the economy, what people are willing to buy them for, because nowadays people are willing to buy them for 40 million credits. And the reason they're willing to do that is because of inflation. So many people have credits nowadays. And so what you see in my videos is I'm buying up hypercrates and I'm buying them up like crazy. And the reason I'm doing that is because hypercrates, as I've seen, are always going to go up in value. And I have no doubt that just give it a, a few months, maybe give it a year, these hypercrates will be worth even more. Maybe they'll be worth 80, bridging on 100 million. I totally see that happening. And for those of you who might be wondering, why are credits suddenly in so much abundance? Why do people now suddenly have hundreds million credits plus, uh, way more than they did in the previous years? And I think the reason for that is the recent string of direct sales that we've seen on the cartel market. This is just my hypothesis. I mean, feel free to rebut it or put your own theories down in the comment section. But my theory is that we've seen so many amazing direct sales right now like Revan Reborn, uh, all those amazing armor sets. Just right now we have the white silver, crystal, uh, the white crystals and stuff. And the problem with a lot of these direct sales is why they, while they give a great opportunity for players to get the item they wanted for a real cash rather than dealing with the RNG packs, uh, a lot of people also buy these items and throw them up on the GTN. So now, if you want to get like 30, 50 million credits, it's easy. You just have to pay a few bucks to Bioware, get yourself like a Revenue Reborn armor set, go sell that on the GTN, and suddenly you're a credit millionaire. And let me tell you, a ton of people have fallen for that. You know, they're like, you know what, I want a ton of credits. I'm going to pay some bucks to Bioware. I don't mind. Let's go ahead and, and get rich. And that is now how people are getting crazy rich because all the wealth is kind of being redistributed. The really rich players such as myself are out there, uh, you know, buying up these hyper crates, buying up all these goods, and we are then distributing our crazy shit ton of credits to a lot of players who wouldn't normally have it. And they're simply getting that by paying real money. And so um, that's, I think, what is causing so many more players now to be rich and have more credits. And therefore, they're driving the prices of a lot of these stuff up things like hyper crates things like platinum items i don't think platinum items you know would be worth this much i mean when the unstable arbiter the very first platinum item was released that thing sold for like sure it started off selling for 50 million it went down to as low as 10 million credits no joke i have videos of that i bought one up at like 5 million and resold it for like 13 million and i thought that was a good deal i did not ever imagine that platinum items would be selling for 200 million plus I sold a Senya's lightsaber pike for like 220 million. I sold another one for 240 million. So believe it or not, they do indeed sell at those high prices. Which is really all just a testament to how crazy inflation has gotten. So back to the topic of this video, the way that I've been protecting against inflation is buying hypercrates. I see that to be a very, very a stable sale. I, I kind of know that hypercrates will always go up in value because even if the items within these hypercrates aren't the greatest thing in the world, it's kind of that RNG element. And the reason I invested so much in these stalwart and vigilant defender packs, as you see here, I invested over 2 billion credits into these, is because they have the unstable peacemaker saber 
arguably one of the most kind of aesthetically pleasing sabers, much better than the Unstable Arbiter. And sure, while other ones are nice, like the Lightsaber Pike and the Defiant Vented Saber, just something about this Unstable uh, Peacemaker Saber is just so amazing. And I think, you know, that's what makes this, val uh, this pack so valuable. And so I bought up a ton. I mean, we're talking a cargo bay full of Hyper Crates and more. I think this is valued at like... Um, I want to say like six thousand ish dollars like around that price which is insane because keep in mind that on average each hyper crate is worth around 50 bucks um you know on blowout sales it's worth 34 bucks on uh, regular sales it's like 58 to 70 dollars it always depends on what buyer where arbitrarily decides what price they want to put it up for but at the end of the day we'll average it at 50 bucks and so 10 hyper crates is 500 100 hyper crates as you see here is like 5000 and then i have a little bit more than that so this is close to six thousand dollars and i've only spent half of my fortune really uh, and i haven't really spent it keep in mind i could always sell these hyper crates i could probably sell them now for more than what i bought them for i bought them for 40 million and a few under 40 million and i could probably sell them for like 45 maybe 50 million now so i'm already kind of making a huge profit on that but i'm not going to i'm just going to sit on them I let them sit there because I have no need for those credits and until I want to, I don't know, buy something that's insanely expensive, they're probably going to sit there in the cargo bay and they're going to keep going up in value. Now before this video gets too long, you might be wondering how does this apply to you because not everyone has billions of credits to uh, worry about and um, wanting to protect them. But I would say even if you have something as low as 20, 30 million credits, it's still worth protecting and that's even probably more worth protecting because you know if uh, you worked hard for 20, 30 million credits and then you waited too long, those are going to quickly go down in value. And so what you're probably going to want to do is invest in things, not necessarily buying low, selling high, because then you have to worry about the selling high part. You have to worry about monitoring the GTN to make sure certain items go uh, when they're selling higher, that you're making sure you're taking advantage of that. But in reality, I'd say there are certain items in the game that are guaranteed to go up in price and not really go back down. And those are things like the gold armor packs and really any other cartel pack. But take a look at the uh, gold armor packs, for example. These were what, they used to sell for two million about a year and a half ago. Now they sold, then they, uh, when they were released a second time, they sold for around 10 million. Then when they were released uh, back a few months ago, they were selling for 20 million-ish, and now they sell for 30 million plus. Believe it or not, I have video footage here that proves they are indeed selling for like 32 to 35 million credits. They're just keep going up and up uh, because they're such a fun pack to open and people are willing to pay their credits for them. And so I would say invest in these. Like uh, whenever you see them up on the GTN, maybe you could want to pay now like 30 million for them. I could see these selling for 50 million in a few months down the road. Uh, another great pack to invest in are Grand Chance Cubes. These have only gone up, up and up. Like they used to sell for 200,000. Now they're selling for a million plus. So those are also a good item to invest in. Uh, of course, hyper crates are great, but if you don't have those many credits for a hyper crate, just invest in the single cartel packs. Those have also only gone up. And so these I see as kind of stable items that are worth investing in in order to uh, protect your credits. The only trick is you have to have the, uh, the mental kind of willpower not to open them. So don't, uh, don't bend to your whims and say, you know what, I'm going to gamble with these and hopefully I'll get something good. No, nah, just throw them in your cargo bay, forget about them, leave them there. One day you'll go and check that cargo bay and be surprised that you have all this stuff in there. And it's going to be a great day because it's probably going to be worth a lot more than what you bought it for. So that's kind of the point of this video. Protect your credits. Uh, do not let them go to waste. Uh, this is something that just kind of occurred to me about a few months ago and it probably should have occurred to me earlier because um, I should be have really been buying hyper crates when they were like back when 20 million credits because imagine how rich you would have been if you were taking advantage of those deals. And the funny thing is when you see a deal, you think, oh, I missed a good deal, but you don't see the opportunity ahead. You know, when I'm looking at hyper crates for 40 million, I almost want to gag when I buy them because I'm like, that is so damn expensive for a freaking hyper crate. Uh, especially because I'm back from a day when hyper crates used to cost four to five million credits. And then um, now I'm kind of looking at it and I'm going, hey, maybe in a few months I'm going to be looking at this deal and saying, damn, I really wish I took all of them. And so I'm kind of taking a leap on that and saying, you know what, maybe 40 million actually isn't the worst thing. Maybe these are going to be worth 50, 60, 70 million in a few months, maybe even more down the road. I don't see Swotar shutting down their servers anytime soon. So um, I hope not. It would be kind of a waste. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This thing is long enough. Uh, just kind of an economy topic I want to talk about. Maybe I'm trying to take my channel into more of this kind of a direction. We're talking a little bit more about the GTN and less of the other stuff because this is the stuff that I actually really enjoy. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find some great deals on the GTN and I'll see you guys in the next one.